the circle, triangle, and square, and how I have that um, situated, it all makes sense numerically. Circle, triangle, and square. It's a little bit different than what the book came out, but how I have it, you know, the circle first, the triangle second, the square, it's going to make sense when we get into the symbolism I want to go over. These three primal shapes, circle, square, and triangle, are central symbols in ancient cultures. Zoroaster spoke of them as three symbols of man. The founder of Aikido spoke of the triangle as the body, the circle as mind, and the square as solidity. The three symbols painted in the Zen monastery as Kenan G is referred to as the universe. Everything can fall under the circle, triangle, and the square. That's the universe, the basic elements of life. And it holds true, and the gematria is going to tell the tape. The circle, the circle represents the infinite, and the infinite is at the basis of all things. But the infinite itself is formless. Think of the circle. It's one. It's whole. There's no form. You don't need form when you're whole. What do you need to uh, define yourself with? Everything is everything. It's infinite. You don't need form when you're one or zero or you're one or the circle. We humans endowed with senses and intellect demand tangible forms. Hence, a triangle. The triangle is the beginning of all forms. It's very important. Outside of the circle, which is formless, which is all things of everything, which is tangible in itself, humans cannot see tangibility without a shape. Two sides don't make a shape. Think about that. You can't make anything with two sides. Nothing encloses. But a triangle does, and it takes three sides. And then you have a square. A square is the uh, triangle doubled. This doubling process goes on infinitely, and we have the multitudious of things, which the Chinese philosopher calls the uh, ten thousand things that is the universe in geometry a polygon and this is when we get into how the, the triangle is very important in geometry a polygon can be defined as a flat or two-dimensional closed shape closed shape bounded with straight lines it does not have a curved boundary it does not have a curved boundary at least three straight line segments sides are required to form a polygon at least three that's why you have the triangle the triangle is important because it finally gives form outside of the infinity there is everything there is whole there is the circle but really you can't tell a difference without the tangibility of a triangle a circle is not a polygon. Poly means many, several, much, multi. Gone in nouns denoting a plane figures with a specified number of angles. All right, and so you see some of the, the work here. You have a circle with enclosing a triangle, then enclosing a square where another circle can be. It's infinite, right? You see the infinite play. Again, you have some ancient um, Asian symbolism. Very important. You can really see that as one, three, four, one, two, three. Obviously, the two is emitted here, um, but it's still in numerological, uh, numerical order. And when you talk about gematria, we have some powerful decodes. The circle is most important shape and circle most important earth shape. They both equal 137 in reduction, which is the 33rd prime, and 169 reverse reduction. 
So you see the connection there. The circle, most important shape. It's everything. It's whole. It's infinite. It's all of humanity, all of whatever you can think of. It's the circle, and it keeps expanding. But it's no form. Remember that. So let's get into some more gematria. Polygons forming tangibility. A square is the polar tangibility. The circle, triangle, square in order. And a triangle, the second most important. They all equal 333 in English ordinal. Very powerful stuff. All equal 333 in English ordinal. Polygons forming tangibility. A square is the polar tangibility. Remember, a square is the triangle doubled. The doubling process goes on infinitely, and we have a multitudinous of things. You see that. You can have a triangle this way, triangle that way. You can just keep going. The circle, triangle, square, in order. Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle, square. Then you have the circle starting the process again. Then you have a triangle, the second most important. Again, these all equal 333 English ordinal. The triangle is the second most important shape, especially in our realm. We're not here without the triangle. <laughs> We're tangible, right? At least in the, within this illusion. Then we have square shape is third on importance. That equals 137 in reduction. Again, the 33rd prime. So you see, this, this is the very first slide. This is deep stuff. And, you know, when you see this video, make sure you go back and watch it again so you can pick up on the different nuances and understand it moving forward and, and see how it can relate to multiple facets of your life. The circle, triangle, and square, even going back to the book, it's everything. It's literally everything, these, these three primal shapes.